Hello, good day to you all, and welcome back to my channel today. My name is Tokube Madichi. In today's video, we want to learn how to estimate a system generalized method of moment using e view. Now, one question, an important question here is why system GMM? Okay, the use of system GMM is basically underscored due to the problem of weak instruments usually provoked by persistent regressors. Now we mentioned weak instruments here and persistent regressors. Now if you revert back to the our previous video on panel GMM, we talked about uh, choosing the appropriate instrument. And in doing that, we made reference to uh, uh, using internal instrument as the best instrument to use now using internal instrument means using the large values of the regressors as instruments but most of the times when the regressors are highly relevant and tend to be persistent it weakens the instrument and because of that the use of different gmm becomes uh, problematic therefore uh, uh, system GMM comes in okay now um, how do we decide between the first difference GMM and system GMM recall that first difference GMM is used to remove uh, or remove the uh, unobserved country specific effects from the panel okay but then there is a very big problem of weak instrument just like i've explained before now and different gmm cannot or did not or does not address this problem and because of that blondel and bond now opted for system gmm how do we decide between first different GMM and system GMM which one is more appropriate? In doing that, the, 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 the simple method to be used is to estimate three models. One based on pool mean group regression, the other one based on fixed effect model and the third one based on first difference GMM. Now, in all these models, one thing is common. The coefficient of the lag dependent variable is of essence. Now, if we estimate the pool mean group regression, the coefficient of the lag dependent variable is seen as the upper bound. Now, in the fixed effect model, it is seen as the lower bound. Now, the check coefficient here is the coefficient of the lag dependent variable in the first difference GMM. Now if this coefficient is closer or less than the one of fixed effect, we say that first difference GMM has downward bias. Therefore, system GMM is preferred. Okay, that's a simple procedure and what i have just said now will be dramatized in this video now we have our work file ready and here we have uh, three variables uh, one two and three three variables so we want to start the process of uh, how to dis determine between um, uh, system gmm and first different gmm which one to 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 use okay as I've stated earlier, the process starts with um, estimating three regression. One is based on booming group regression. The second one is fixed effect, while the third one is first different GMM. Now, uh, let us begin. We highlight our variable starting from the dependent one. We open them as equation. Uh, here we say that our major concern is on the coefficient of the uh, lag dependent variable so here uh, we do not do anything on the panel option 
uh, on the specification we are using ordinary least square so as it is now if we is going to run this analysis based on what is called pool OLS or pool mean group regression now if we click OK we have uh, our result out here you can now see that uh, the coefficient of the lag dependent variable is 0 0.25 okay approximately 0 0.73 uh, okay and um, this means that we are going to save this equation and run the fixed effect, effect uh, model so we save this with equation one so having done that we open again as equation uh, we add the lag dependent variable but this time around we are estimating with fixed effect okay so we set it on fixed effect you can see that now and we estimate so the result is out you can see that uh, the parameter coefficient is 0 0.55 so this is the lower uh, bound the first one is the upper bound so uh, having done this we can still save this so that we can always make reference to that uh, now it's time for us to estimate the first difference GMM so in estimating the first different GMM, we changed the method here to GMM. Having done that, uh, we move into instrument. We say that we are using internal instruments. And based on the uh, 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 variables we have here, we have uh, uh, this internal instrument has to do with uh, instrumenting with a uh, lag of the regressors. Okay. We also have the other one so these are the instrument for the two uh, variables so for us to do the system uh, I mean uh, uh, first different GMM we are going to follow the uh, dynamic uh, panel uh, wizard okay the method of dynamic panel wizard so we have set the basic instruments and uh, we move into the uh, setup we say the, the the lag is to uh, uh, lag one uh, we continue we say that the estimate is based on first different transformation and um, here is going to generate another instrument additional instrument that will uh, take care of the uh, uh, what is it called the lag of the dependent variable that is coming in as an independent variable uh, here we finish up the setup so you can see that the uh, lag of uh, the dependent variable has been added automatically and under instrument another variable has been added the the lag of uh, second lag of uh, dependent uh, second lag of dependent variable which is believed to instrument for the first lag of the dependent variable which is uh, one of the independent variables in the analysis so if we click ok we we can uh, see that uh, uh, this result is actually showing us that uh, is there anything we are missing uh, we have our instrument uh, uh, nothing else should be set here uh, okay okay uh, we can now click okay so the result here is uh, 0 0.64 so this 0 0.64 is telling us that um, uh, 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 we can actually uh, that this first difference uh, 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 GMM is actually the preferred uh, model okay now if this parameter is less than less than what what is obtained from the fixed effect uh, model uh, we can say that uh, the first different GMM has done what by so you can see that is greater than actually is, is greater than this this is greater than this so this is telling us that for this particular uh, panel setting that uh, first different GMM uh, has no problem okay so we can actually uh, safely work with first different GMM but then uh, that does not actually uh, uh, invalidate or cancel uh, the main issue of today so the main issue of today is to estimate or learn how to use eView to manipulate or do some manipulations on eView to be able to estimate the panel system GMM okay now we close all these and begin the process of setting up the system GMM using eView
now the first thing to do here is to create a system object we click on object here we go to new object we go to system so you can see system here you can name the system uh, gmm uh, uh, gmm system okay you can name it gmm system so here we have we have the uh, environment where we can we can actually uh, 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 i've already copied this so that we save time okay so what are we doing here we are we are estimating a system of two equations like i've explained earlier where the first equation estimate the level of the dependent uh, i mean level of variables with their uh, uh, lag or the lag of their first difference of instruments so here this how to do this here in the system is to first of all state the variables and their in their level you know how to, uh, if you can uh, read uh, equation of uh, equation based on specification in this uh, area so we specify this way okay to this point so this is where our variable stop this is coefficient this is a uh, first lag this is the first variable this is second variable okay and now for you to put the instrument you put the sign of at then you now continue difference of the uh, difference of the second lag of the dependent variable to instrument for this one so this to take care of this and this to take care of this okay now in the second equation we estimate the difference of variables with their level as instruments so you can see where we stop for the difference of variables and of course we continue the coefficients for, from where we stop we have this as five we have this as six this is seven and this is eight so you can see that one two three four five six seven eight so these are instrument for the second equation so you put at and add the instrument that's how to specify it okay in this system now we go to estimate you go to estimate you are going to see this uh, uh, setting so here you click on this uh, drop down you are going to see uh, uh, gmm cross section gmm time series so gmm we have here is actually time series and remember what i said that there's no formal procedure for the, uh, estimating uh, gmm uh, system gmm in eview so we are relying on uh, uh, this method where if you will have to pull the uh, cross sections just like a uh, uh, pull mean regression group, group regression so everything is pulled here to produce the system estimation okay so here we choose this option and uh, click ok so if we click ok here you are going to see the results uh, this is uh, our system estimation okay this is our system estimation c1 c2 so if you come to this equation you are going to see c1 c2 c3 c4 okay and the instrument so here is the are the instruments okay this is the second equation and these are the instruments okay so you can also represent this uh, specification this is the representation of this estimate okay the method is gmm and that is uh, based on system so this is the first one which is that is the representation of the estimates okay so uh, you can see that we have been able to uh, uh, implement this method okay uh, using system uh, GMM method for for this panel uh, 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 data analysis thank you very much for your time um, don't forget to subscribe and um, refer the channel to your colleagues uh, 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 feel free to ask questions connect with us turn on the notification bell so that um, anytime we post a new video you get to uh, get notified about the new video on time thank you very much for your time and